Clayton Post with postcreative.com. Um, here with your video quick tip of the week. And as he's like pointing at my light that I'm gonna bring in and show you because everybody's always asking me, how can you do amazing light? Do I need like huge strobes? Do I need power pack? Do I need like, do I need pro photo lighting? Do I need Ellen Chrome? What do I need? What do I need, Kevin? What do I need? Home Depot and Lowe's, that's what you need. Right here. Dun, 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 dun. You need a, you need a shop light. What you need, fluorescent shop light. Um, these are actually, this is the more expensive one because it doesn't have the big tubes, it has the little tubes in it. So, uh, uh, but you need to get daylight balanced tubes. That's the, main, the key to the whole thing. If you get daylight balanced tubes, these are completely color balanced. They're off just a little tiny bit, but you can take care of that in, uh, in you know, your post-production. But the most expensive part of the whole thing, this is how the whole thing works. Oh, it's the bracket. Here, get a shot of that, Essie. Oh yeah, look at that expensive bracket that I got there. See that? Oh, that, that, took some, that took some ingenuity there. That's not actually the hardest part is the whole thing because you have to kind of, you have to take the back off of the thing and then you just kind of put a screw through there and it's a highly technical operation. Um, just get some sort of way to mount it over a light stand. That's what I came up with. And then, um, what you need to get, this is actually a, a, this might be as old as you, Essie, but you just get some shower curtain material. Just buy a shower curtain, an old shower curtain. And you take it and you throw it over top, like so. You a little A-clamp or tape or something, hold that back, and you have yourself the most amazing light you can even imagine. Get a couple of these, get three, four, build like a little square, shoot between it, it's like a big ring light. This is amazing. I'm gonna bring in some shots that you can actually see, um, just what you can do with it. I've used this exact setup to shoot editorials for major magazines. It's just hilarious. It's like show up and they're like, oh, wh what are you doing? I'm, oh no, trust me, trust me. Um, movie sets actually use these. They're called Kino Flows. And you could buy Kino Flows. I think like Adorama, B&H, they all have them. They're about $2,000 and they have like four tubes in it. They have a rheostat on the back so that you can adjust the light. You can turn two on, two off. It's like, well, I'm kind of thinking you're probably with a fluorescent, you're gonna want all the power you can. So if you're in the UK, these things are amazing because you have what, 240 I think, instead of 120 like here in the States, and they put out a ton of light. Um, I used to love to use them when I worked in London. Um, so anyway, this is your tip of the week, man. Go to your local hardware store. This is like 20 bucks plus the tubes. So I've probably got about maybe 25, 30 bucks into this thing. Um, the bracket though, the bracket was a, like I think 10 cents, something like that. So that was the most expensive thing on the whole thing. So that and you need extension cords because you know you can't, um, you know the cords are not that long on them. So there's your tip of the week on how to get some really beautiful lighting for not much money. So we'll be back, check out everything else, all our cool quick tips, software, Lightroom presets, all the cool stuff is at postcreative.com. Later.